Hello there peeps, welcome back to Subnautica, a brand new season. I've decided we're going to start off the year with this game and there has been a lot of updates and things. Let's quickly take care of this fire. Yeah, nailed it. Oh yeah. So let's see, what is the new stuff? Booting in emergency mode. Greetings, survivor. Great job not dying. Thank you. To assist you. you in further survival in emergency situations, you have been issued this personal data assistant. The interface visible now will organize your inventory, display currently available construction blueprints, and holds other valuable information. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with it. Okay, Attention. this is new. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with ongoing degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core due to damage sustained during collision. Uh -huh. Continuing to monitor. All right, that is interesting. Whoops, trying to figure out the new buttons, or actually not the new buttons, but the shortcuts. So anyways, welcome guys, welcome. And I'm super excited to start this series. I don't know how many episodes we are going into it, but we will have to see. I don't know. All right, uh, Fabricator, you're not giving a medicate or anything. It's weird. All right, so we did take out everything over here. And uh, yeah. Let's go to here to Fabricator. Oh man, such a long time since I've been at a Fabricator. <laughs> Alright, so first things first, we need to get ourselves a couple of tools. So I'm just quickly checking out the survival knife, which I really do require if we need to continue on. Okay, let's go explore. Oh man. Oh, I forgot how pretty this game was. So pretty. Catastrophic Blueprint failure. Discovered. Yeah, man. Alright, so... Let's see. Yeah, okay. So, all the things are sort of, sort of the same. I did notice there are a couple of new things. Uh, they gave that update to brand new cool things, which we will take a look at in the future episodes. Uh, right now, our main mission is to make sure we collect enough resources and things just to get by. You know, just uh, get our tools going and start researching things. And scanning things, all those kind of beautiful things. Yeah, all the things. Anyways, so what I did notice is the notifications you get, like all the red circles on all the items. That's probably trying to tell you all about the brand new things, or brand new, grand, brand, whatever you want to put it. Alright. Now, if I'm not mistaken... Ooh, quartz, so pretty. The survival knife requires titanium and there was something else. Was it rubber? What was it? Silicon rubber? Yeah, see, all these new indications. It's probably telling you like, hey, listen, th this stuff is new. Alright, so let's go ahead and cook at Gary Fish because... Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's uh, drive core may cause a quantum detonation. Calculating risk assessment. Uh, Death by malnourishment. 7%. Yeah, we know. By physical injury, 11%. Uh -huh. By exposure to radioactive crash site materials, 19%. If the drive core is breached, probability yeah. of death increases to 65%. Okay. Alright, so what I like, this game gives you a quick rundown of all the things which you need to know. Just quick, you wanna. Oh, okay, so we could have just eaten one of those nutrient blocks, so we will gain a lot more water. Not water. Uh, Hunger? Not gain hunger, we lose hunger. I don't know. So let's quickly get some things sorted out. I just heard... What's that noise? Ah, don't know what it is. That's yeah, probably fine. Anyways, so we need to go and get some seed clusters to get the survival knife. And with the survival knife, we will most likely get, you know, cut things. Uh, like the coral samples to make things oh man uh, <laughs> i cannot wait to start getting base get to base building that's what i mean all right so i don't see i think i see in the distance yeah there is some and it feels like after a couple of updates uh, i think there were only like two one or two updates since the last time i played a couple of cool new things that i have added and what i've noticed is the game is running a way better than uh, there we go. Just want to make sure. Yeah, six. 
The game is running a lot smoother right now, and I'm super happy about that. It means for you guys better quality content. Right, let's the surface get some air. There we go. And yeah, the update, it looks really awesome. I don't know when the next update is due, but we'll have to see. I don't want to start all over again, but won't maybe won't be a problem. I don't know. We will have to see the future. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy the game as is. Wow. <laughs> I must say, I really did miss this game. Okay, so let's see. Fabricator, resources, basic materials, silicon rubber. That's what we do require. All right. Now the two woos above life. Local radiation readings exhibit characteristics consistent with total degradation of the uh -huh. Aurora's dark matter drive core. A quantum detonation will occur with a probability of 85.5%. Advise you, you, observing a yeah. one kilometer safety range. Okay, cool, whatever. We know that. I think we're safe. Alright. So we got ourselves a knife. Um, sorry about that one. <laughs> Alright, that's just a bit of an interesting read there. Uh, sometimes developers can be really funny. So let's see, we require these things. Uh, there we go. Electronics, battery. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Do we repair tool? Battery repair to scanner, that's what I was looking for. Uh, magnesium crash fish powder, battery and titanium. So we can make a battery. And we can do that. Like so, like so, and scanner. This is so that we can just start scanning things. Like uh, blueprints for, I don't know, sea moth and sea glide and whatever we can. All these things. Okay. And all these... This is, this is brand new for me. This is really, really cool. Uh, I will read that up on these things on my own time. Emergency. Seismic Ooh. readings suggest a quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state. Oh my, here we go. 10, 9, 8, uh -oh. 7... Six, this is gonna be five, good. Five, four, three, two, and there's the Oh, that was awesome. Now, all the radiation. Oh, man. All right, that was awesome. You know, that would have been a great firework show for New Year's. Really, it would have been. But anyways, let's see. Now we need to get a couple of things. Uh, the crash fish powder. I think I know where to get that. They're very hard to get though, because it launches this little fishy that swims after you and then explodes on contact or something. And without the sea glide, then yeah, that is a problem. You're not, you don't move fast enough to get out of the way. But you might, ooh, salt. Thank you. But you might be able to work around that. Just want to see where or oh, where these coral samples. We need a couple of those. Ten oh. seconds of we need water. Remaining. I mean, not water. Air. There we go. Ooh, close. Okay, let's get you, let's get you, and you, and, yeah, just leave it at that. Let's go ahead and see if we cannot find that crash fish powder or something. We just need a cave of some sort. Ooh, what's this? Ah, I thought it was more salt. Ah, let's get that. You know what, let's go drop off some of these things in our little crash pod or life pod. Or whatever. Our resources. Just want to make sure. Prepare to yeah, crash fish powder. Hmm. That's gonna be 
A magnesium. Just want to see. Three salt deposits. Uh huh. So we also need to go find salt. Okay, completely forgot to store everything in the inventory, but that's no matter. And I think nighttime is not a very good time to go find salt. Yeah, more titanium. Where? Oh, where? That's a creature egg, but we don't have an acquire or anything yet. And is there one? Yep, there's one. Oh, uh, there we go. Easy peasy. And that, thank you very much. Emergency. Let's Ten get some air. Of oxygen remaining. Just need to find some salt right now. Yeah, if we can make, um, s oh, find salt, we can make the magnesium and then we can make the repair tool. But, yeah, it's turning out to be quite difficult to find salt. Because I can't see them. Should be around here. I don't know. Usually, you could see them, but... Like, they glow, sort of. But for me, I, I don't see any. I should have just waited till da daytime. Where, oh, where shall salt be? I mean, we are in the sea. So, I think this is an ocean. Would most likely be. But, yeah. We're in the salty water. And there's no salt. How is that even possible? Yeah, this might take some time. Salt, salt. You know, I should probably go check out where League of Legends players hang out on this map and then I'll find all the salt I ever need. I'm just kidding, guys. Or am I? Oh, <laughs> not really. Um, not seeing anything, though. Oh, where, oh, where shall salt be? I don't want to wander off too far. Because hunger and first those things will be our death yeah I don't see anything there oh come on just need a little bit of salt man just a tiny amount of salt please 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 where are you salt what's that uh, it's probably nothing uh, I see a lot of quartz but not a lot of salt how's that possible Hmm. So, anyways, let's get some air. Alright, so what I was thinking is, I don't know how many episodes we are going to go into Subnautica, but I really want to try and get, like, see the latest things in the latest updates and stuff. What's that? Yeah, I don't need that. So I'll try to work to get to there, and I am going to pre-record most of these episodes so even if you guys do comment I uh, might be able to come back an episode or two later you know if I do make a mistake an episode or two later then we'll be all on the same page and oh what's in here oh sea glide fragment now that will be interesting there we go just need one more and then we will have it and the sun came up so salt might not be as hard to find right now just need salt 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 yeah not gotta go in there those fishies might be there the crash fish might kill us inst instantly instantly and I see some salt and another fragment oh yeah let's go ahead and scan that and we've unlocked the sea glide. Oh yeah. But that's gotta be for the next episode. We're running sort of out of time right now. And I... Yep, there is the last piece of salt. Now we can go back and construct our last tool. Ah, uh, now it's just a big swim back. Uh. See, now this is where the sea glide would have been awesome. Well, we have it, but... Yeah. I think I'm gonna construct it now. 
Alright, there we go. Deployables. Yeah, there we go. There's the sea glide. Tools. Uh, we still need to make the magnesium. So let's go to here. And magnesium. Awesome. And then tools. Repair tool. Oh yeah. Now we can start preparing. Let's see. And magically that wire connects itself. Although I could have done it with my hand. Ooh, let's repair you. Huh. Okay, cool. Anyway, guys, I think this is going to be the end of the episode. This is an automated bounce back from the uh -huh. Aurora mining vessel. Your distress signal has been received. An emergency relief team will be dispatched to your location. The estimated arrival time, nine, 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 nine hours. And that's a lot. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me here on Subnautica. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.